The novel butter policy to exchange gold for fuel, according to the vice president, Dr. Baumia, will fundamentally change Ghana's balance of payments and reduce the depreciation of the city. How do we get in more foreign exchange reserves for the country to be able to stem this gap between the demand and the supply? One of the things that occurred to us and to me was why aren't we able to accumulate reserves in terms of gold? It will be the government's last ditch attempt at fighting the persistent depreciation of the city. It has failed to hold in check. But it is not clear why the government decided to resort to the butter system. It's a policy that is not attainable. It's a policy that cannot be done. And um, we need more answers which we don't have at this moment. But Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, says the criticisms are born out of ignorance. Because they don't understand, I think there are a lot of rumors and people do not understand the policy. It's a difficult one. I, you know, until it is announced and you know the full details of what it would entail, you cannot also really go into the details. So if you have a solution that can deal with this fiscal and debt sustainability and at the same time lift the bedding of the balance of payments, you're home free. The government hopes to use this new policy to fight the country's dwindling foreign currency reserves, which has less than three months cover at $6.6 .6 billion. But how sustainable is the gold for fuel butter system? The whole policy is really uncommon. It looks like a novelty, uh, and there's always apprehension with novelty. I don't wish that it fails, but I don't see it succeeding and being sustained in the long run. On a first glance, it's not possible to be done. No, it can never be a good policy. Um, look, the underlying currency is the dollar. What could be the likely implications of the gold market in Ghana? Will this make government's fight against illegal mining any more difficult? What is going to happen is that because of the way the sale of gold will be lucrative, we are likely to be buying gold from Galamseyers. And Galamseyers product uh, uh, activities are likely to increase because they will try to go to PMMC for Bank of Ghana to buy from them if we are not able to meet the demand we want for gold. Not many experts are optimistic about the move, but it's novel and one that might drastically change the fortunes of the currency that governments over the years have not had the full control over. The policy directive is expected to take effect first quarter of 2023.